like I said, Marin is my healer. Unless he gets down in the red, and I think he's pretty close to dying. I'm not really going to use anyone else for healing at this point. Because the thing about Miranda and Dart right now is they're both, you know, a thousand HP plus, which helps. Basically, all he's doing is magic and the claw attack. So that makes me suspect that either the status causing effect comes from the cannon or the ball. I'm probably I'm thinking the cannon probably. I'm actually not sure what attack each of um, the forms have. I just tend to kill the ball first, then the cannon, then work basically work my way from the bottom up. You can kill the cannon first before the ball, or you could ignore it all and just kill the dragon. That's another way of doing it. There are so many ways to play this game. There are so many ways to beat the bosses. So many ways to do all sorts of different things. And I'm just showing you one. Or, rather... No, I'm kind of just showing you one, because... I think I did the same thing in my main game run with this game. I am showing you a couple of different things compared to my main game run. Alright, we'll use another breeze since, you know, we're kind of hurting a little on health on everybody. And it won't hurt to have the healing anyway. Because everybody was down, see, like, everybody was pretty much down on health quite a bit, so it's okay. He looks like he's struggling to hold on to that clue. He's kind of shaking. His claw, his little claws are shaking. So I've gotten a fair bit of SP from this fight, which is nice because hopefully, if Miranda gets up to like Dragoon level five, which she might. I doubt it, though. I'm hoping Dart will at least get to a level 4 and so will Miru. Miru actually tends to level for Dragon fast. Oh, he's hurting now. Hooray, he's in red. So he's almost dead, so we just now need to keep the party alive at this point so they can earn the experience. Because when you're doing a low-level game like this, you really want to keep the party alive as much as possible. Alright, Miranda. Go ahead and healing breeze it since we're okay. I could have fogged it, fogged me really in retrospect, and it probably would have been better, but eh, it's done now. Probably after this, I'll start fogging her since I've got fogged. Come on, Dark. Take him down. Um, there's a cutscene after this one, so we're gonna have to, like, stop and then start again. You know the drill, guys. You know the drill. It's a lame drill, but you know it. Smack. Alright, she's not down yet, so... I'm trusting you to stay alive, Mirror. Well, if Miranda gets to turn, I might as well. Fogger. That way it's nice and done. And hopefully also my my addition I can change additions after this. Which Miru hasn't learned her next edition, so it won't really help her, but Dart has, so it will be nice if I'll get to if I could get to use um Dart's next edition for the next couple of fights. But then again, I'm not entirely sure that that's the case. Oh, come on. Go down, Divine Dragon. You're hurting. You need to go down. Put you down. Attack him, Miranda. The therapy ring actually has been a good thing for Miranda in this run, because I know I'm not getting the mage ring, because I'm not doing the Stardust quest. <clears throat> I could get just enough to get the majoring, but mm, I don't really want to. All 
Alright. You're hurt. Oh, well, actually, the whole party's hurting, so. I'll use a breeze again. Hopefully, he'll go down soon. Miranda, take a turn. Fine, Dart, take a turn. It's really risky to do this with Mir at such low health. Alright, there's Miranda's turn. Breeze it, Miranda. <coughs> Ooh. Righto! Okay, Divine Dragon, you can die any day now. Yes. Really. There we go, it's dead. Catch you guys with the experience. Alright guys, let's see how well this paid off. Any Dragon's levels? Dang. Oh, see?